Alrighty, folks. Hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome, TLSWT, Gelatin, Mr. McDucky. Hello, Unknown. Dark Syphax. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Car Carl Coyote Leg. I remember you. Hello, Icebot. Yes, Quack. And Silver Plating. Welcome. Alright, let's get started. Today we're just building some random things. Uh, I think I'm gonna need a new, a new world. Let's pick some modes. You, you. You. You? You. You. You? You. 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 Duck character, very tempting. All right, I think that's. Uh, what am I? What am I doing today? What am I doing today? Loop. That's what I'm doing today. Build some cheese. You know, I already did that. I can. Uh, I don't know. Wait, this is my new computer. I don't know. I can't load my old blueprint. I might have to build my cheese again. All right, all right, interesting spawn point. Ah, <laughs> what a lovely diving board. All right, wee. What? Jeez, kind of, kind of crowded, isn't it? I guess I'll just build something over here. Build a cheese again. I'll, I'll see if I have that old. Yeah, I do not have I do not have my old cheese. Well, what I did to build the cheese was pretty 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 simple. I actually just built a Dorito out of this and this. So you start you start with your corner. Actually, I guess that's going to be the top of the Dorito. You put a bunch of these. Now you gotta do the back side as well. <laughs> this is not even what I wanted to do today. But basically you just keep on doing this until you get uh, until you get a triangle and it's a Dorito. Actually you don't need that one there. Yeah, if we're, if we're just building a small Dorito, we just do this. There you go, Dorito. And of course, you gotta paint it orange. You know, this game could really use like a... Like a hotbar preference. Because like every time... Oh yeah, there's new new tools too. Let's try out these new tools. I have not tried these before at all. But yeah, like every time I'm going into a, a creative world, like I always put connection tool, lift, paint tool. Paint tool and weld tool are interchangeable. I just put them here somewhere. And then hammer tool and spud gun. I always have my tools arranged like that. Be nice if I could set that, you know, default. All right, so here, here's, here's the cheese. You don't have to find it in some challenge. You can just build it. That's the beauty of Scrap Mechanic, you can build anything. All right, we'll just name this Mini Dorito. Why? Dur 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 wait, what did I type? <laughs> All right. Things are getting a little quacky today. All right, so let's actually uh, let's actually play with this, uh, this, this thing. This is a little teleport thing, right? It even says the distance, nice. Terrain asset, terrain surface, body. Let's let's teleport to the body. Interesting, interesting. I like. I like. I really, really like this teleport mod. <clears throat> 
Why? Wait, what? Why is there a sexy Squidward showing from the ground? Oh, wait, is there? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so hold on a second, folks. Let's just teleport to the ground. That's been there, and I, I, I ha... How long has that been there? <laughs> I did not notice. Uh, okay, let me, let me just go ahead and, uh... That was, uh, that, that was for something else. That was for something else entirely. You just ignore the Squidward and the Ricardo. That was for something else. If you know, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Jeez. I, anyway, I was just trying to enjoy this teleporter thing. This te I, Honestly, I'm really liking this teleporter. I'm just, like, playing around with it, like, zooming a around my map. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, it's so, it's so, like, I can speed run across the map. Oh my god, I'm the Flash. <laughs> so weird to see the, 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 the background, like, come into you in discrete chunks like that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go to the end. I can't, I can't teleport to the wall. That's a shame. That's a shame. Yeah, okay. I don't know what, I, I don't know what I'm... What if I do this? What happens? Huh. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I don't know. Why is Chet gone in the bottom left turf? What? Chet's gone in the bottom... Chet... Chet... What? Chet's in the bottom right. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, you're just talking... Okay, you mixed up your left and right. <laughs> it, I think it just uh, pops in and out. I don't know. I don't know the refresh rate on that. Maybe I could, you know, figure it out at some point. Portal gun? Never tried this either. Interesting. I think this is the first time that I've actually seen, like, this, um visual effect in anything in Scrap Mechanic? How do they do this? I'm curious, that's pretty cool. Just visually, this looks really good. Good. Oh god, why is that laggy? It's not laggy, it looks laggy. It's not actually laggy. This is just an anime, they just, okay. They didn't, like, script the animation to be, like, 60 frames per second. All right, all right. I understand. So, like, how, what, how, how, how do we use this? Left and right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right, well, I guess we gotta do the classic. The classic. Is that, is that even lined up? Not really. All right. Okay, so it doesn't, it doesn't uh, like teleport momentum or anything like that, as far as I can tell. Maybe. Is this, uh, does this depend on the block? It does. Can I put it... Hmm. Doing some experiments. I I'm just seeing if... It, like, I don't think it actually, like, teleports, um... Momentum. But I'm also suspecting that, like, there's just a block in the way. Nah, I think it just teleports you to the position. 
Yeah. All right. So I'm, I'm understanding these portal rules, I think. Wait, didn't it say? Oh wait, no. This, yeah, there we go. This is the this is the tool I need to close the portals. I'm really curious how they did this uh, visual effect. You see that like? Wow, well, but I I can't even remember the name of what it's called. Like the fish eye lens thing. The the the, the warping. I'm really curious how that was done. How did you make those squid, cardo, and reward? What? I what? I didn't. They're just pictures. Are you playing Mario Kart in the background, hence the music? It's just a it's just a playlist of uh, some Nintendo music, because gosh darn, it's hard to find um, you know copyright free stuff to to play during a stream. I could just do silent, but I'd prefer to have some noise in the background. I also am a little bit too small of a channel to really consider, like, purchasing a license for music. Bleh. It's, like, it's one of those things that I definitely would do, but, like, <laughs> it's not going to pay for itself if I tried doing that now. Anyway, let's actually get to building what I wanted to build today. We're going to need some... Yeah. Number logic stuff. For one of the stuff that I wanted to build anyway... Um, yeah, I don't think I need that. Hmm. Today, I'm going to try to build something that I have never seen before in Scrap Mechanic. Maybe. There's another thing, too, that I want to build. Yes! That I would like these leaf suspensions. I guess we'll we'll get to that later. Alright, lift. Holy mods. Yeah, it's it's been a while since I've... I mean, I want to check out uh, more mods, but, like, it's a kind of an inconvenience to... I don't know, get into it sometimes. What am I what am I doing? Delete this. I don't need this. I need this. <laughs> it's no difference. I think gosh. Alright, let's get uh <sighs> Okay, this is gonna be my segment size. Put a bearing. I think I can't put that that way, but we'll we'll get to that I think in a bit. Uh, wait, how much is this? Four. Okay, so five blocks, five blocks each. Got it. Five. I'm already seeing this is gonna be a pain in the butt. Hey, Yorit, thanks for the uh, 28 months of membership. Just got to hear what you're doing. I'm doing a thing. I'm building a thing. <laughs> it's, it's a never before seen thing in, in Scrap Mechanic. I don't know how it's going to work, though. I got I got to... I'm still figuring it out. And I'm keeping it a surprise. But I called my save file loop. So we got to... We got to build a loop. Alright, one thing that I probably need, controller, Two, three, four, five. 
like that. That'll still turn off the lift, right? The controller is powerful enough to, to force the corner to rotate. I think so, anyway. Okay, how many how many segments am I going to be doing here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. We put a thing there. We're gonna need that block there. Actually, before <clears throat> before we do anything with that, let's um. Yeah, okay, so when we take that off the left, that's gonna straighten out. That's what I want, okay. Uh, yes. Okay, now let's get four of these. Are they, wait, 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 are they straightening out? I'm a dingus. <sighs> how, how many years have been playing Scrap Mechanic and I don't know how to work a controller? Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's straightened out now. <clears throat> okay. Let's weld. Up here. Up here. That's gotta go up. That's gotta go left. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gotta build myself some scaffolding. Just to build. All right. Last piece. That weld on. Yep. Okay, cool. <clears throat> All right. I found a scissor lift on the workshop for those, uh, for situations like those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's got. I mean, yeah. The number of times that I've built this staircase, those single block staircases. <clears throat> okay, so all those are gonna straight out. There's a bunch of loose bearings. Let's finally add some number logic to it. <laughs> this is gonna be a pain in the butt. How many, wait, 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 wait. how many, uh oh. <laughs> I did not, did not think this through. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times four is 36. So, wait, is it? Yeah. So, yeah, that, that was actually perfect. I did not intend to do this. Well, it just happened to work out. Nice. I can make simple music for you for free. All right, yeah. I mean, if you if you want to make music, go for it. Thanks for the donation. Oh, oh you know, I actually, uh, uh, there, there was actually, like, somebody made a little uh, music thing a while ago. You know what, let me just see if I can play it on stream. But you might, uh, you might see it for, like, the title sequence of a new video series on my channel. I just, I've, I've had it for, like, years and I've never known what to actually use it for. I thought it was gonna be for, like, my video outros or something like that. But, like, then you see... Sometimes I just do something different for my video outros. Sometimes it's the guy dancing on stage. Sometimes, you know, with the giraffe. Sometimes it's something else. Let me see where the heck I can find it. And then I'll just play it for you guys. <clears throat> I 
Let's see, audio. Nope, that's not the correct folder. Uh oh. Um, I think I found it. Okay, <clears throat> let me pause this music so you can listen. Yeah, just that. That's actually the short version of it, actually. It's pretty much the same thing. However it goes, I don't even know the my own melody. But that was actually made by by somebody else um years ago and like i've had that thinking that like i was gonna you know use it for some outro video or something right which is still a possibility by the way if there's like some animator out there that similar to um similar to the 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 let me let me go actually turn the music back on but like similar to the outro that you see where the guy's standing on stage and there's the drift licking the end screen stuff um, like that's just an animated outro, right? So like that's audio that could go with another animated outro. And I'm thinking about using that for, um, cause I, cause, cause I got top secret, top secret information for the people watching the stream right now. I got, uh, I got a, I got a animated video coming up for you guys to see soon. Some of you might already know what it is if you know, you are lurkers in my discord nonstop. But uh, yeah, it, we just gotta just gotta you know put it together a little bit. I the animation is done already. I just want to like wrap it up into a nice uh, video series that can be repeated, right? So it, so the animation just needs like an intro outro sequence type of thing, right? So then uh, you know as soon as the video format for the series is like done then another animator can make like whatever animation that they want and slap it into the, the video format. You know, there's already an intro, outro, ready to go type of thing. Meh. What's that uh, damn song that everyone always requests and you use to dance party at the end of your streams? Huh? Dance? Dan I used to dance party at the end of my streams? I do have the other one. Like the one, the, the one that you guys probably know of. I'll just play the audio. So many people ask me, what's that guy saying? Anyway, let's get back to building. <laughs> yeah, that's that's like the other sort of like prepared outro. It depends on... Um, yeah, like if you watch some of my uh, Scrap Mechanic videos, you'll see that outro on them. But they're like specific Scrap Mechanic videos, like not the Reddit videos, they're, they're just, I don't know, random videos. Maybe that video with the uh, with, with the walk contest, like the corn eating contest. If you see that video on my channel, that one definitely has the the funky outro. Anywho, hey Yahi, welcome to the stream. Dare if I have an idea, build that outro in Scrap Mechanic at some point on stream. Oh, like my my outro outro. So like I have I just build a little stage for me to dance on. 
<laughs> yeah, I think that's a good idea. We can invite a bunch of people. Public games, crap mechanic, derf, play public, pay pl 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 no, 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 just invite a bunch of people to, to be the crowd, right? And then I'll get, uh, do I have my Drif? I have my Drif. My name is Drif. Ah, oh, no, I can't build it. Well, we can totally, like, act out that that outro if you, you know, if you guys want to, to be the crowd and just, like, I don't know, do some random jumps. Pretend like you're, you know, dancing to the music. It's, it's such a hard thing to coordinate in Scrap Mechanic multiplayer. Nobody has rhythm. All right, so you're gonna see how ridiculous this thing is. Pretty soon. Uh, you know what, let's just go ahead and, uh, yeah. I probably should have put these before duplicating stuff, right? Maybe I should have done that. Yeah, maybe I should just do one fourth of this first. I'm, uh. Dingus number two. I'm a dingus. But we need this. <laughs> this many. This many. Smart engines. Oh gosh. And I didn't really consider how it was gonna fit here. Well, this this comes down. You know what? I'll replace all of these, just so that it looks symmetrical and it matches. It's a little bit uh, OCD while I'm building. All right. So if I put it here, there you go, right on the edge, right in the corner of all of them. Actually, maybe I should do it here, right? To balance it out. Yeah. What's going on there? Hold on a second, what's going on there? How, wait, what? How did that happen? I'm a dingus, that's how that happened. So this is, oh my god, I didn't even build it right. All right, well, we're cutting it off right here. Let's <laughs> cut it off. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's let's uh, finish putting the things where I'm supposed to be putting them. Make sure there's bearings where I'm going to be welding. Okay, that's that's all the engines. One engine per bearing. Bing, 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 bing. That's not that's not binging. This is not binging. There's no bing. gotta do some more bing bang right here right bing bing there you go bing 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 Maybe I should connect them so, <laughs> so I don't get confused. All right, all right. 
taken a while to, to actually get to the actual point of all of these engines. But I think, uh, I, I, you know, I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta try something new. Okay, so this is gonna be half my loop instead of a quarter. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It already seems like ha half a half a circle. I don't want to cut it even more. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What am I getting so uppity about? Okay, so that one. I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay, I don't know... I don't know how this is going to turn out. Let's see how it works. Welded on. Everything's welded on. This is not connected for some weird reason. Because this one wasn't, for some weird reason. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's take this off the lift. Or right, can I just save it as a loop? Loop. 40 bearings. Yeah, that's because there's four extra controllers. Okay, so there's 36 bearings to actually make the circle. Gotta love those smart engines, automatically doing something good for me. Alright. That's this is already like most of the way there. <laughs> this is your sides are short. No, this this looks pretty circular to me. It the, the only thing that it doesn't matter if it's a square or not, because the hinges, uh, these things where the controllers are, they just go from 90 degrees to 180 degrees. So, instead of making a singular straight line that is not attached, I make a loop that is attached, but then straighten out those corners, right? So, it, it's it, the blue, the, the, the controllers are changing a square into a single line. That's all that they're doing. And then there's tension on 36 bearings for 360 degrees. We're going to be adding some number logic to these engines. And uh, maybe some of you will be able to tell what 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 I'm actually building today with this. Maybe, maybe some of you can start piecing it together. I just have no idea where I'm going to be putting some <laughs> number logic stuff. Uh. Um, let's let's just uh, for the sake of my sanity build it out here for now and then I'll, I'll figure out a way to oh god it's sagging it's sagging I mean you're supposed to do you're 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 going to be doing that but like not yet first thing that comes to mind when I think of circles is wheels wheel yeah hey Rato I see you Got some, got some at done. What? Yeah, you can DM, you can DM me whatever. I'm just no guarantee that I'm gonna check it out in the middle of a stream. But you can always DM me whatever you want. Oh man, that is, <laughs> that is sagging. Why does it just keep on sagging? I thought these engines were strong. I might have to bump up their strength. That's, that's kind of strange. I thought they were stronger than that.
All right. Uh, speed, power, angle. Angle can just stay zero. Power, let's give it uh, all the power in the world. And speed. Doesn't, doesn't really... We can change that. Like, with number logic, we can modulate if this is too fast or not, or whatever. Oh, God. <laughs> I forgot you're supposed to put in the target angle so that it doesn't just drive like a normal engine. Yo, Durf, win the face reveal, hmm? I mean, I've been saying it's going to be at uh, 100,000 subs. Okay, so if I put this... It's gonna be such a pain in the butt. I'm just thinking about, like, wiring these to all of these. <laughs> it's gonna be such a pain in the butt. It would have been smarter to just build the stuff on each engine and then duplicate it. I'm even thinking, like, what if I use, like, wireless routers? Like, beep, beep, beep. And then just make them all receive the same signals. Hmm. I mean, can, somebody said, yeah, Yorit was saying uh, remote control. This is something that it is possible to remote control if I built it to do that. I think, uh... There is still a little bit of a problem with that. I'm gonna hook him up. I'm gonna take this off, actually. I don't know if that's gonna work, so I'll just stick it in here. Okay, this. Connect to everything. Oh god, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I forget every single time. And I'm about to mess up myself again. Uh, for now. For now, we're just gonna put a, 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 a blank. Right here. And I'm gonna detach this. And then I'll do all this on the lift. There you go. Sanity is saved. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's a logic build for you. Lots of connections, lots of logical things to. Did I did I connect two or one? There is two lines. Two lines. White. Black. White. Black. White. Black. Yeah, I definitely should just, uh... Just do half of this. <laughs> just do half of this and, uh... And then uh, cut it off again and then weld it back on again. You know? Where, where was the cutoff point last time? <laughs> this, is, this is so... The amount of times that hindsight has made me rethink this entirely. And I haven't even finished. I haven't even gotten halfway. White. Black. White, black. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That could be the eighteenth, or that could be the eighteenth. Right there. Which means, cut it off here.
button right here. Yeah, you see those controllers? It's just trying to pretend the whole thing's a straight line. It, the, the square means nothing, if anyone's still confused about that. Okay, this is back to half loop. Ah, I'm a dingus. I'm a dingus. Is this gonna be a one wheel flex? Uh, uh, is this is this gonna be a one wheel flex driving vehicle? I guess that's what you could call it. I guess is Lord Dead Tool the first one to guess it? Speech bubble? What? <laughs> what? I'm just maybe I shouldn't read my chat messages completely out of order. It's nice to see everybody in chat. If you're if you're watching the stream right now and you haven't said hi in chat, why not? Say hi. Do it. Oh god, I picked it up. I did. Oh my god. It, this this is like the perfect summary of a lot of the things that I just build in scrap mechanic. Like, look. The poor creature. Its existence is nothing but pain. Existence is suffering. All right, let's get this. <laughs> let's get this over here. Uh, I, it's this. It's this. I just. I yeah. I just needed a little temporary thing to to connect to all these for the time being. We'll uh, we'll we'll redo that, I guess, until I you know figure out another way to like duplicate it and then cut my loop again. But for now, this is what we're doing. Connect it there. Good. What are my cats meowing for? Alright, this should be the half loop. Half lop. There you go. Half lop. You attach, you attach. There you go, there you go, there you go. So now, when I take this off the lift, uh, we would see if this is loop. Now nothing happens because nothing happens. We didn't tell it to do anything. It's actually the smart engines are overpowering the controllers right now. Forcing like they're trying they're trying to straighten out the 90 degrees, but they're not going to. Um M -m 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 -m. Bouton, right here. Ish. 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 Press the magic button. Bam! Okay, that is <laughs> not what I thought was gonna happen. You gotta be kidding me. You. 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 It's <laughs> No, 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 no! <laughs> alright, alright, we just gotta find these, uh, oh god, now I can't tell which one's which! Oh wait, I think I already got all these. You, you skip one, you skip one, you, you. I think that's it. Now that's uh, now that's a circle. Oh, look at that circular circle. So circular. The curve. Circumference. Diameter. Mmm, pie. I just I just got reminded of. 
Hue Neutron. <laughs> uh, again, one of those things that if you know, you know. If you're in my Discord and you've seen, you, if you've seen <laughs> the thing that I posted about Hue Neutron. He likes pie. He likes pie. I don't even know why I'm cleaning up all these wood. Yeah, pie is good. Pie is good. You know, okay, okay. Favorite pie in the chat. Okay, go. Right, like some some very... Pumpkin pie is a very seasonal thing. It's pretty good. I, I actually like it. Banana cream pie is like... A little extra, if you ask me. I mean, it's also very, very good, right? But like, that's uh, it's not... You can't have two banana cream pies back to back without being like, oh, this is evil that I committed. You know what I mean? You could do that with pumpkin pies and then not feel so evil. Uh, apple pies too. Apple pie is pretty good. This is boring, but apple pie slap. Yeah, well, no, see, like, that's a classic. That's a classic. If it, you know, if it's not broken, don't fix it type of thing, right? Coconut cream pie is pretty good. Shepherd's pie. Ooh. See, now that's something that I didn't even expect as an answer. Like, a, a nice meaty pie. Pie pie? Yeah, I took some pie, put it in this pie, and then I baked it to make this pie pie. Otherwise known as Tao. <laughs> this is so dumb. It, that is so dumb. Oh my god, that is one of the dumbest cooking jokes I've ever heard that is also a math joke. Somebody can make two pies and say they made Tao. That is one of the dumbest things. <laughs> it's one of the dumbest things I ever thought. <laughs> then carved pie into the crust. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure somebody has put the numbers of pie on pie before. Illegal substances pie. Pie flavor. There's really not that many uh, kinds of pie, is there? Alright, so now that we have uh, this loop thing, doing a circle. It's doing a circle, it's doing it's doing its job. Very, uh, very well. Okay, so what we're, what we're gonna do is create, uh, we're gonna design a flat segment on this quote-unquote wheel. Let's... Give it, uh, I don't know, maybe... I'm gonna, I'm thinking like easy easy math here because like there's 36 joints that makes it very easy to separate by 10 degrees for the for the whole circle. So now to create a flat section, we need to cancel out those 10 degrees for the bottom of the wheel. But then right at the corners, we need to increase 10 degrees to whatever it's supposed to be to to you know account for that. So the number of segments defines how much we increase the, the, the corners of the quote-unquote bulge or whatever you want to call it. So let's say we do six bearings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seems kind of small. It might still work. Well, let's just uh, sort of like, I guess, paint from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, for all, those those bearings would all be zero instead of ten. So then there's an extra sixty degrees to work with, which means this one got to be. I'm just gonna paint it yellow. That one's got to be an extra thirty degrees. And that one's got to be an extra 30 degrees to account for the missing 60 degrees. And that's going to create a perfect circle that is flat along the ground. All right, so now we're, we're now let's do that. Now let's do that. The problem with this is like I, okay, so I can make at this point in time right now, there's two different versions of this that we can make. One is sort of just like an automatic thing that it just sort of like rolls one way or the other. What the heck is my cat doing right now? <laughs> Sorry, I just got distracted seeing uh, my cat trying to do some... He's trying to get into a box. 
what else do cats do, I guess? Anyway, one, one way to do it is just like very analog, where all the bearings are just sort of like pre-programmed and they're gonna do whatever they do. Another way that I want to maybe do it is have like a, like a general remote control panel. That's why I was thinking about putting the, the, the wireless routers on there, or receivers, first. But I might not have to do so many of them anyway. Anyway, just like a, a wireless control panel here where you can just say, you know, go this way or go this way, forward or backwards basically, and control the speed at which the entire circle animation animates, forward or backwards. And this is all just based on individual bearing angle. You said cat, now we strongly suggest you pay the pet tax and show a picture of your cat. The one, okay, the one that's specifically trying to... Let me see if I... ...can find something for you. You guys are gonna see... I did promise, uh, like, more cat pics. Oh, and that's the wrong folder. I did promise more cat pics at, um... 50,000 subs? But I can just show you. These are some old pictures too, so... He's a little bit bigger. Okay, now how do I show this to you without completely... Holy moly! OBS, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Jeez! I'm just trying to add an image to OBS and the, the pop-up went full screen on me. Why? It's such a dumb... One sec, folks. I got the picture. Yeah, yeah, there's more cats. I have four cats. <laughs> I, I have a lot of cats. This is just one of them, though. Um... <clears throat> Well, good, great. Now, where's the picture? I'm not allowed to, like, load a JPEG or something? There it is. Okay. So this is an older picture. Let me put, just put it on stream there. There you go. This is an older picture of the cat that I called Tarzan. Because especially when he was a, a little uh, kitten, he just pretty much looks like a loincloth. I don't. I, what what is the like the type of cat? Is like Bengal or something? I I'm not exactly sure. But, let me see if I can actually just find, like, another picture so that you can see. I don't know if I have one that shows off his, like, vertical stripes. Because, like, you, you see that uh, picture and it's, like, uh, most of them have stripes going horizontally, like a tiger. But, like, the way that his um, fur... <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys this picture. I have lots of pictures. Yeah, I just don't take very many uh, pictures lately. Why can't I find the same picture? It's kind of annoying. Hmm. 
Now, yeah, you can't see the his back though. And anyway, the the thing is like uh, uh, <laughs> the way his fur I guess formed or whatever. They, he had more spots than stripes, but like the way that those spots lined up ended up being like vertical stripes instead. I'm just trying to see if I actually have a picture of that. <laughs> okay, this is a good picture to show you. <laughs> this is a good picture to show you. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. This is a good. <laughs> this is a good picture to show you. There you go. You can kind of see the vertical stripes on the back there. <laughs> Uh, these these are all old pictures too. Like he's a, he's a little bit uh, bigger. This these pictures were still when he was a little bit of a kitten, so he could actually fit in a box like that. I'm just gonna be showing you guys more pictures. I hope you guys know, right? Like, I stopped building. They are kind of small cats, too, the ones that I got uh, from from the farm. Like, th these are children of barn cats. Well, I can show you uh, another cat. <clears throat> yeah, you can flood uh, my Discord with uh, with pet pics if you want. Let's show you. Let's show you Comet. My other cat, Comet. Also, kind of a old picture, because Comet is. Definitely a little bit bigger now. He's a little bit fatter. There you go. You might be able to see why I named him Comet. <laughs> well, that, too bad I don't have any pictures of when he was a kitten, because like you would definitely see why I called him Comet. I hope you guys like looking at uh, cat pics, cause I'll, I'll, you know, I, I can show you some more. <laughs> some of these pictures are so, so dumb. <laughs> okay, hold on, I gotta show you guys this one. I gotta. Here is uh, Tarzan climbing in in the unfinished basement ceiling, like all over the vents and stuff. He uh, he, he just explores all over the place. That's what that's the same cat you heard trying to get into a box earlier. He's a little explorer. Super cute. Quite literally. 
this guy. Look, 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 wait, 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 wait. Where's that picture? Where's that picture? Oh my god, how can I never find the picture? My eyes just don't work. This picture is like half a second after the last picture. <laughs> Look at that little tongue. Mlep. <laughs> anyway. All right, cat number three. This is uh, Sasha. She is a little older than the other two. The, the other two that you first saw were the youngsters. And this is their aunt. Such a, such a pretty little lady. Posing for the camera and everything. And you can even tell by the, uh, the cat's tag this photo was taken in 2012, so this is this, this is a 10-year-old photo. More than 10 years now, actually. Let's see if I can show you the big guy. TC. Oh, you know what? Here's a picture with all three of them, actually. They've activated their death stare. Give me a sec to show you. <laughs> Give me a sec to, uh, a sec to show you here. There you go. There, There's the three of them that you've uh, seen already. And I guess you can get like a sort of a gauge of their size. They're, I guess, nor small, medium, small to medium sized cats. They're not like super big cats or anything. But the other guy, he's a, he's a big guy. He's a big boy. Let me see if I can find him. And like you have no idea. So, TC, the big guy that I'm looking for pictures now for. Um. He's, now he's like pushing 16 years old, 17 years old. But he's always been the, the big boy for all the other cats. I don't really have very good pictures of him. Or like nothing that shows you their, their size, I guess. But Tarzan is absolutely attached to him. Alright, maybe this picture sorta of shows. And you're you're gonna like this picture you instantly see the relationship between my cats. He's literally just like a little kid. Always going to the big boy. So yeah, that's uh, that's the the black and white one. That's TC. He used to be an outdoor cat when he was uh, when he was younger. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if it really shows in this picture, but he's like a big cat. Uh, he, he's the he's the. He's the cat that uh, would bring home mice, rats, squirrels, rabbit. Like, he, he was an outdoor cat that just liked to mess up the neighborhood. Anyway. <laughs> so let me actually show you um, one other cat pick. It's actually not my cat. But this is the mother of Tarzan and Comet. We 
which is also like ridiculously cute kitty. I like I dare you to find a, a, a cuter cat than what I'm about to show you right now. But like that's also more or less the reason why this this okay. <laughs> I guess I gotta tell you a story, but this is a uh, dolly. This this little cat here. This is this is Dolly. This was the runt of a litter of farm cats, and it's uh is is another time and place in my life. But <clears throat> basically, there was um uh, uh <laughs> ba ba I don't know. Basically, there was a house and there was a farm like outside. There was a bunch of barn cats and they. I, I don't know how to really uh, describe like street cats, I guess, right? Like you don't really question where they're from, how they got there, or anything like that. But uh, anyway, it was winter, and uh, this cat, Dolly, uh, learned to it, like instead of all of the other cats of the same litter that basically avoided humans, she was the one that ran out in the the winter weather, like in the cold, just to sit on top of our feet outside when we were, whenever we were standing outside such a tiny little adorable thing but it was probably the runt of the litter like all the other cats were you know pushing for to, to get that milk from their mother or whatever and so then this cat probably didn't get any right so that's why we took her in and uh, then she ended up just getting busy with some other cats and that's how <laughs> that's how Tarzan and Comet were born <laughs> yeah but hey you know, super, super cute kitty, passing on those super cute genetics. I, I, yeah, I dare you to find a cat that looks cuter than this. It's, uh, it, 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 like, uh, you know, sorry to my own cats. I, it, you just don't compare to that. You don't compare to Dolly. She's a little doll. Anyway, I think that's, uh, do I, do I have other pictures I can show you? Why would I show you pictures? I don't know. Yeah, I think we're good on pictures. <clears throat> okay, back to Scrap Mechanic. <laughs> that was a nice little break. Dingus cat. You know, I actually saw that. Do I have... Oops. I actually saw that, though. Do I have it? Um, it was a mod, right? I do have it. Yes. <laughs> yes. I loaded it in. Yes. Cat. Dude, they use like a... <laughs> A realistic picture or map this onto but like just projection mapping oh god <laughs> it's, it's, uh, what is this mod it's just dingus aka Maxwell I like I saw this I have it why do I have it <laughs> uh, anyway So yeah, we're taking, uh, we, okay, so we gotta make something in sequence. I'm already thinking about using some mathematics. Because, like, periodically, I, I want these bearings to go from 10 degrees for a certain amount of time, then to... Then to go to 30 degrees, then to rush to 0 degrees, then to rush to 30 degrees, then back to 10 degrees. In just a pattern, like that. <clears throat> so it's got to go 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 30, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 30, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Right? And then that's the thing that I'm basically going to shift. Like this bearing that was 10, and this bearing that was 30... The 30 is now going to be up here, and the 10 is going to be pushed up. The, the 10 is also going to be pushed up. It just pushes along. Yeah, that's basically that's basically what I'm doing. 
So, there's a few ways that I can do that. The way that I want, okay. One way that you can do it is to use like uh, timers or smart timers to just like, you know, build the, the sequence that it's supposed to animate. I want to use a mathematical formula because that's gonna allow me to pause the animation, play back the animation at different speeds or even reverse the animation on demand. That's gonna be like driving the wheel, like actual control to drive the wheel. So how to do that, I think, get, wait, give me a second, folks. I'm gonna fiddle around with a graphing calculator, <laughs> graphing calculator super quick. Because, like, I'm thinking the sine function is super useful. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. Fun fact, Durf, your Cybertruck self-driving logic now powers my self-driving buses. Really? Self-driving... Wait, did I... Huh? Self-driving Cybertruck. I remember building... When did I build a Cybertruck? I built a satisfactory truck that was, like, self-driving. I know that's, like, a really good self-driving truck. Maybe that's... Maybe that's the one that you meant? I... If you're talking about, like, an actual Cybertruck, I forgot. Out of my memory, don't remember. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's set up, uh, the thing that I actually need to set up here. We're gonna sit... Well, we'll just put, uh, yeah, we'll just put it on each of these. So, this is just gonna be the input for what each bearing is supposed to be angled at doesn't matter how I get the number into here this is just uh, just just it's just so that I have the number able to be put in so that you know it doesn't matter what method I use if I'm controlling all the angles at once or animating them in sequence I don't know maybe you think like what's the point of doing this when you can just connect like it, it, it's the same number of connections anyway right if not more but it makes a difference. Oh, you know what? I actually have the 10 degrees all in there already. So I can just do uh, like minus 10 degrees or plus 20. Okay, so like one very easy way to do it like with a sine wave function would just make two flat two flat surfaces on the top and bottom. And like that would still work as the thing that I'm trying to build, but would look ugly. And I basically want the top to be smooth still. So I think, I think, 
I think I can build it the way that I sort of described just now, but like ignore the top. But like, how do I, how do I do that? I'm gonna design a flag for you, Durf. Oh, well, thanks, I, I guess. And hello, M Reaper. And Gelatin asking, what am I doing? I think some people already figured out what I'm, what I'm building. But uh, basically, a, a circle. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm over-engineering a circle in Scrap Mechanic. All right. <clears throat> okay, so if I'm going to be using a sine wave function, then I need to, like, label all of these, which is kind of dumb. Right, like, bearing 1, bearing 2, bearing 3, bearing 4, blah, 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 all the way to bearing 36. Let's just start with the sine wave function. I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing in uh, in, in the graphing calculator super quick. Actually, I'm gonna figure it out in scrap mechanic. Because the sine function, function. Whatever, doesn't matter. That's not right. That's right. Doi. Yeah, that's definitely in degrees. Right at 90 degrees, it's uh, it's one. Okay, zero to 90, it's in it's in degrees. That's good. Oh yeah, somebody was asking if I prefer degrees or radians. Doesn't matter. It they they each have their application, their purpose. So like, while you're learning how to work with this stuff, or you know maybe you're in school and you just figured out there's like uh, two different ways to do the same thing, radians and degrees. You might prefer one way over another. Um. I think for me it was degrees. I just preferred degrees because it was uh, it, it was natural for me, especially because I was playing uh, video games like um, like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. So like when you do a 360 or whatever, like it, it just it it already made sense to me. Radians did not make sense to me at all because it was the amount of pi. It was the amount of an unrational, uh, irrational number that you're going around a, a circle, which doesn't make sense until you like finally get trigonometry like until you finally understand what the the sine cosine and tangent functions are actually doing um you're not going to understand like how radians is even a thing other than just like a number right like you can put you, you can put uh, any numbers around a circle and say okay it's from zero to 100 right so 50 percent of the way there is half a circle like the doy, it's not it's, it, the the point of the number system is how it relates to other things. How so? <laughs> so like when you're saying, when you're saying, um, um, like should you use radians or degrees? If you're asking that question, chances are it doesn't matter. Um, but like there's gonna be an application where you are using functions that might be like uh, trigonometry or you're doing something with like coordinates or vectors 
and then all of a sudden the Radiance is just going to be a, a, a useful scenario because of what you're doing. It's so difficult to try to explain. But uh, for, if you're just, like, learning about it, don't worry about it too much. Just, I guess, work with what you're comfortable with. Learn how to convert from one to the other. But, like, if you really want... If you really want the, the usefulness, the skills, or whatever, like, then, then, yeah, you gotta... actually understand what's happening. You can't just, like, brute force memorize things that people say in school. Which you can do, actually. That's part of the problem with, like, school is... Uh, like, a lot of the tests and things that you do is, is you just memorize what was said earlier in the course. Um, and, like, that's the point of, like, tests. Tests are to, you know, measure your uh, uh, understanding of the topic. So... <laughs> it's, it's... Why am I even explaining how school is supposed to work? Because, like, some people don't get it. Some people literally don't get it. When they go to school, they're just like, Oh, why do I gotta do all this work? Blech. I don't want to do any work. And, like, I 100% understand. I'd much rather just, you know, sit around and eat Doritos all day or, or whatever. Like, it's not, it's not something that... School does a terrible job of making students enthusiastic about their own level up. Like, the, like you, you level up your abilities. You level up your knowledge. You level up everything that you can do in the world around you by gaining the abilities that you can get from knowledge. The, the, the wisdom that you can get from knowledge. Right? So, like... Why does your circle have corners? Why bent corners if there are 36 se sections? Can't you do 9 sections per side? Yes, you're absolutely right. Okay, so... The Wait, me dumb probably? No, 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 no. Don't worry about being dumb. Let's say you wanted to build this loop, and you take it off the lift like this, and you wanted to do this, a perfect circle. How do you build, physically, 36 bearings in a circle? But then you want to tell each of those bearings, angle yourself 10 degrees. You can build a straight line, and do that, and then take it off the lift, and it will point into a circle, but I want the ends to be attached to each other. So it can't be just a straight line. Some of the bearings have to be 90 degrees as the starting angle, right? It, it, can't, it, it can't be zero degrees like a lot of these other ones. So the reason why I'm using controllers instead of like the, these controller bearings, you can ignore them. You might as well see them as just a piece of wood. They don't, they don't have any purpose for the greater circle, but uh, the point, the point of that is that, that I can tell each of the bearings, turn yourself 10 degrees, that's it. So these bearings are not going to be turning to 100 degrees from 90, right? They're just staying, they're, they're... As soon as you take it off the lift, these bearings straighten out to be zero, like a piece of wood. Just like the piece of wood that they are, to pretend the entire thing is straight. I hope that makes sense. It has nothing to do with smart engines. You could do it with uh, you could do it with vanilla controllers. The reason why I'm using smart engines has more to do with why I'm building this. I want to be able to control it. Literally, the only reason is okay. I mean, pretend this is a lift. <laughs> All right, so here's a segment, segments with you know, pretend there are bearings too, and this is all gonna curve to make a circle, right? And you just keep on going, keep on going, blah 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 blah. Take it off the lift, rip, it can go into a circle, but then the ends are not attached to each other. It's a very, it, it, it's not, it's, it's not a stable circle, right? There's going to be one weak point because there's not, the ends are not going to be attached to each other. Take it off the lift, there's no way those, you, you can't weld the two sides together like that. So that's why I built it like this. I did, uh, I don't know, okay, if I, if you didn't get it, I can't explain it. <laughs> that's... <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am gonna be using. I am gonna be using a sine wave. Uh, so it's from. So it's from zero to ninety. So what we're doing? There's thirty six bearings.
And we want it to go from... Oh no, this is not gonna work. If you didn't use the controllers and had the sections just 90 degrees on a bearing, then the first... Th then the four smart engines that control the corner bearing need to move a different amount than the straight ones. Yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. That, that's exactly right, M Reaper. Yeah, the, the reason why I'm avoiding that is because I want to have the entire loop as like a sequence. So if you just imagine uh, the bottom right now, like the ones that are painted right between the green, Imagine all of those stay zero. They're flat. The ones that are yellow shoot up to 30 degrees. And then all the rest are normal 10 degrees. Instead of this, this is all normal 10 degrees. I want this bottom section here flattened out. So that's why I want six bearings to be zero degrees, two bearings to be 30 degrees. And that, that is easy to do. I can do that right now, super easy peasy. I can literally just pop some counter blocks onto these and modify their value. Right, like I'll, I'll just show you right now. Negative 10 to pop into these. But then you need to consider all of these inputs like a, a, a single chain of logic. And then you just sort of like scrolling text. That's what it's like. Scrolling text. A marquee. Where the last, you know, as soon as it goes off the edge of the screen, it pops back onto the other side of the screen. And keeps going. So that's the, that's the loop. And we're going to animate that along all the 36 bearings. So that the flat section rolls along the wheel. But... That's a weird way to explain it because the end result is going to be a, a, a flexible wheel that rolls along the ground. That, 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 that rolls along the ground, yeah. Anyway, let's add the 20s to this. So you can see what I'm sort of talking about here. Like that. And then that's what we're gonna animate. And like that's the, that's the... I like to do things like this too, that uh, the end result is like a byproduct of some design that had nothing to do with it. Because like, individually you would think that these bearings have no... The bearings have no idea what they're doing, right? The wheel technically has no idea what they're doing. You you don't have to put the wheel upright like this, but if we, if we had it uh, knocked flat back down like it was I can't even knock it down like it was flat or whatever then you just see this straight section of the wheel just sort of like moving around the the, the wheel right just moving across different bearings uh, but like that animation is the thing that can get this rolling wheel one way or the other so like the the, the thing that I'm sort of like just trying to fiddle with my head is how do I get this animating this just to go forward not a problem how do I get this to be controllable, though? So I can just say, hey, uh, you know, go half speed, go go in reverse, go double the speed forward, you know? I want to... I, that's why I was using, uh, thinking about using the, the sign function. You know, maybe, maybe, you know, oh, oh, I got another idea, I got another idea. Maybe I use two sign functions. Double the sign wave with different periods. Uh, just give me a sec, I'm, I'm, I'm fiddling around with a graphing calculator again. <clears throat> 
I'm thinking about uh, using a sine wave to define the sine wave function of the other uh, of the bearings. <laughs> so, um, I, why did I even delete the other thing? So sine from zero to ninety. just results between 0 to 1, which I can use as like a multiplier for stuff. But, if I use that 0 to 1, multiplied like with 90, into another sine wave function, then I can, then I can call this sine wave function periodically, and ha have it do something. Th this is basically one way to get like a uh, uh, 1 fourth of the sine wave. I, which is what I want this to be. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually explain what I'm doing. Put that there. Color that. Okay, so that's out of 90. Alright, let's see how this looks. Mathematically. I think I'm a dingus. I literally did nothing. I literally did nothing. I'm a dingus. What did I type in here? All right, well, there's another thing that I can try. No, that's not what I wanted. Get out of here. Okay, so whatever the input is, divided by two, put that in sign. Take that undivided input, put that in cosine. Add the sine cosine together. You're gonna get a fancy wave pattern that stays mostly above zero. I'm just th like, this is all just trying to figure out which method I'm gonna use. <laughs> this is so dumb. Maybe I should just uh, do it the easy way, huh? All right, so. Goes up from zero to one, a little bit over one, then all the way under zero, down to two, negative two, back up above zero, up to one, a little bit down, back to zero, but then back up to one. Yeah, so like, if you were to separate this period into like four chunks, most of the values are above zero, I think. Is that what I want? I think I'm just gonna do it the simple way first. I'll come back to this uh, more complicated way later, I think. I think. Get 
gonna build a little, uh, little, uh, There you go, just like a little mock loop. It's the same thing as if you take like an ASCII block, or like, you know, you just build a display of letters, and you just want the letters to scroll, and then keep, keep scrolling. Which I totally did before. might use this but then that's going to depend on the speed of the of the smart engines whereas if i use like a mathematical formula this the smart engine can be set to go millions of degrees per second but if it's only going to travel half a degree then it's not it's not that fast right so i can like mathematically program the speed as opposed to not being able to do that but anyway the smart timer We just need a number right here. So I guess this could be the number that I could quote unquote adjust the speed. But let's do 10 ticks. So this is also kind of a problem that I can't exactly stop the animation either. But yeah, you got this sort of timer loop of values, like that. So they're all passing along zero. This is, uh, this is, this is kind of weird to set up. Oh yeah, and they're adding together, god, because I'm a dingus, that's why. Yeah, I was supposed to stop adding. <laughs> I was supposed to stop adding that in at some point. Well, you can sort of see the the scrolling thing that I was talking about. Just between the values 5 and 6. But I need that to be between 10, which is it's not it's not a problem. Ah. Basically the fives that you see need to be zeros. Hey Derf, I made a mod for Scrap Mechanic and I thought you'd like it. It adds a sunshake that lets you fly around for easy building. Called Flying Sunshake Mod. Alright. Okay, I don't know why those ones are like that. Let's uh, let's see if we can set something up here. I mean, that's what I'm doing anyway. But like, you'll see what I mean in a, in a bit. Initial values for every point in the loop. Did I get rid of that uh, white tick button? Why did I do that? All right, there we go. We're grooving. I, I feel like I got a plan now. So this, we 
we just, uh, we actually only need three values, initially. So one of them is 10, one of them is zero, one of them is 30. All right, let's, let's clear that. Six uh, little display things is gonna be hard to see, but um, 10, 10, 30, 0, 30, 10. That's the pattern. We're just gonna, basically we're going to see in a sea of 10, there's gonna be a pattern 30, 10, 30, or sorry, 30, 0, 30, moving from left to right. When we click the tick button, it should start. Cool! <laughs> cool! Um, maybe... Okay, is it actually doing 30, zero, 30? Which direction is it going in? I can't really tell. <laughs> 30, zero, 30, 10, 10. 30, zero, 30, 10, 10, 10. 30, zero, 30, 10, 10. I don't know if this is five or six ticks. It seems to be doing the thing. I just need to keep it on for the number of ticks that I'm going to be changing. And, like, that's... That's... That's part of the problem, is that now I can't adjust the speed. Right? Like, right here, if I wanted to slow it down. All of a sudden, just interrupted the signals. So, like, this is a good way to, to program this... But, it's a fixed speed. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Now you can see the 30, zero, 30 moving from left to right, followed by two tens and a zero. Okay, so there's still something wrong with my sequence. No, wait. I'm just the dingus. I hooked it up wrong. So I got it. Alright, that's what we're gonna be doing. Let's do that. I have all of the inputs. Ready to go in the engines. I need smart timers. In a loop. Alright, let's go! Maybe clear the timers and then slow it down? Um, yeah, but then that's still gonna take, uh, the, the, the delay of the timer, that's the amount that it's gonna take to start up again. When you stop the, stop the system. This is startup. See, there's that 20 ticks of all of them being blank. The, the alternative that I was, uh, trying to describe with, like, math and stuff like that, uh, would be so that you can just have a single uh, counter block, like as a number value. And if you just say positive 100%, negative 50%, you can, ch you know, that would be the, the mathematical way to push all of these numbers at a certain speed forward or stop it in place or, you know, play it by a certain, like for a certain time and then pause the animation. Like that's the kind of control that I'm looking for from for this wheel. But uh, we're settling with just an analog it only, you know, you turn it on, it only does one thing. Kind of solution right now. So anyway, let's get those smart timers there. Oh, what? I just flipped over there. Whatever. Maybe a, whatever. Hmm. 
Just try to build. Okay, can I can I knock this over? That'd make it a little bit easier for me. So many of these too. Ah, whatever. I'll just not looking for symmetry or anything fancy. Okay, that's that's the top half. Probably should. Oh god. Oh god, the connections every time. I am filled with regret. Why did I start this? Why am I doing this to myself? But like the number of times that I have built some dumb logic arcade game with way too many connections. Let's loop it. Sudoku build has a ton of spaghetti. Yeah, I don't, I mean, hmm. What's the build that I've made that has the most spaghetti? The most? I don't know. I don't know if you can really measure that. Because, like, there's different kinds of spaghetti, you know? Alright, so that's all... <laughs> that's all hooked up. Uh, we need... Uh, the delay. I guess we're gonna go with uh, 20 ticks. Um, I'm first gonna remove... Where is that? That's just all zeros, okay. Where did I put? No, that's the one that's zero. Where do we... Oh, wait, yeah, that is the one that I was using. Huh? Yeah, 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 okay. This is gonna get rid of the corners. Boop. And then this will get rid of... There you go, there you go. We're back to circle. Um, this is the thing that's keeping my my creation from freaking out currently, so I'm gonna leave it there for the time being. I do want to put there you go one uh, uh, white painted twenty. Oh god! I did connect that right. Good. Okay, so connect that one to all the smart timers. Ah, 
Oh my god, all the... Wait, I'm, I just connected the wrong one, I think. <laughs> I just... Uh, I just connected the wrong one. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> uh, it's already getting bad. Yeah, it's the worst, worst position to put it. Uh, that, that, you know what? I'm gonna just do myself a favor. Yeah, there's another cluster right up there. We'll put it over here. Get that red button that's still here. Use it while we can. Alright, now... <laughs> now I can see what I'm connecting. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. That was eighteen. Halfway there. Yeah, and I can't I can't connect it the other way. That's uh, one thing that vanilla logic has above number logic. For the most part, anyway. It depends on what you're doing. Like, lights, it doesn't matter uh, which direction you, you try to connect it from, to or from, right? But, like, number logic, I can't grab this and connect it this way. Because that's gonna. The direction matters. But, like, a lot of vanilla stuff doesn't matter. It'll just automatically be the correct direction. I'm doing it again. Except for, like, vanilla logic gates, obviously. Logic gates can't automatically tell which way they're supposed to be connected. There you go. There's that. There's that one. What in the spaghetti are you doing? Uh, you will be able to see very, very soon. But I mean, kind of your fault for not showing up earlier. And boy, did you miss out. You really missed out on, on today's stream if you just showed up. Ah, but whatever. There'll be, uh, there'll, there'll be another chance. When I have more subscribers. There you go. There you go, we're all hooked up. Whew. Okay, now I just need to do this dumb sequence thing. So we just need, uh, um... Um, 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 a 10, a 10, 20 and zero, which we already have the zero somewhere, but I think, uh, I think, I think, I think first I'm just going to do the multiplication thing. Yeah, put them right next to the timers.
All right. How was my time for the uh, for the speed run of putting down number logic blocks? Still, still doing the speed run. Got to switch them all to multiplication. Speed run, speed run. Half of these I don't even know if I'm actually changing. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. Just like a net. Good. Now we just connect them. Are you doing a thing? You're not supposed to be doing a thing. trying to make some kind of shape I'm not so allowed to show on YouTube. Anyway, I just got to connect them anyway. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. I still got to connect them. I'm pretty sure it's uh, freaking out like that because I don't have them connected. And the single input is treating it... Like a value instead of a delay. I don't know. Might need to put that uh, giant reset button on it. What are you doing? <sighs> Father! Why do you hate me? You brought me into this world of pain. Blah. Why did I pick it up with a weld tool? All right, 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 all right. Do it on the left. These values aren't supposed to be anything. Oh, but it's because the multiplication's not anything either. Yeah, it's, okay, okay. I just gotta finish actually building. So that's connected. That is connected. I can't tell. The flying around thing. No offense, but uh, I already got my own. Being able to fly around while you're building is definitely de definitely a must for creative mode. Which, like, it baffles the mind. Why is it not a built-in thing, you know? Fly mode is like one of those, um... It's like one of those standard things. Like, how is it not? Wait, are they connected or not? They're not connected. Okay, that one is good. Okay, that's where I start connecting them. Okay. 
Is this even the, the right direction? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, the multiply goes into the timer. Yeah. I guess I just had my circle flipped when it was laying on the ground. Okay. I'll get this, I'll get this. Why do I have shadows off? It's a good question. I might have put it for... It, it might have been to take a screenshot of something. already connected. That one's already connected. Alright, I think I got them all. Yeah, wait, why is this one going that way? Did I connect them in the right direction? Oh my god, what is, what is wrong with me? No, I, I got them, I got them. Yeah. Going down, going this way, going, 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 and then it switches to going up. Okay, yeah, it's the same direct. I'm, I don't know how I confused myself there. I believe you missed one at the top. Doesn't look like it, but we'll find out pretty soon. <laughs> we'll find out really, really soon. All right, so I have all of that in there. I got the delay and a, and, a, and a tick button for the actual setting of the animation. So we'll put the giant on switch like right here. The delay was right here. Stick that into the tick button. There you go. So now we have a tick button that lasts 20 ticks. That's going to go into every single multiplication. And that should stop the... Well. It should stop it when I take it out of the lift. The dumb, the dumb number stuff the timers are doing. There we go. Oh wait, you, this this should be something that I could. Oh no, wait, I can't. <laughs> I thought the tick button was one of those things that I could uh, uh, connect two way, like grab from the math blocks like this, so I can connect twice as fast back and forth. But nope, tick button takes a number of inputs for how long to tick for. It's got to be one way, one way connections. Should be that one. Yeah. There you go. Dude, I'm 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 I just wanna see this thing in action, you know? <laughs> I just wanna see it working. Should be done. As soon, I, I gotta do like another. I gotta, I gotta connect the, the reset, and then like all the initial values. So, oops. So like this sequence of connecting a tick button. Basically, I gotta do that like three more times, and then we're done. The same 36 connections done like eight times. For eight different things. By three you mean like 50? No, 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 we're, we're actually done. 
Like, literally, I have the this animated sequence thing working over there. It's a working prototype. I just need to apply the small prototype design to, you know, instead of six six uh, uh, things, we're working with 36 things. So it is, uh, it is like done and ready to go. Technically, I just, I just need to build it for the large version. Um, so yeah, that's the thing that will multiply. I can just do it right now. All the bearings with their initial values for 20 ticks. Next. So yeah, we do need, uh, we we do need the reset, which is pretty important, and then just. The initial values, which isn't even 36 connect. It, it, it is it, these three counter blocks represent 36 connections as one. So, uh, what's 36 times two? 72. So, 72 more connections. That's it. This bouton is unnecessary. And this is also going to be unnecessary pretty soon. But we'll put the white button right here. Yeah, okay, so the white is the reset. And I gotta connect it to all the timers. Two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You know that uh, thing that I said like a, a while ago on some streams that I said like I, I thought of a bunch of funny things and jokes to say on stream? But I just remember that I remember to do that, and I didn't actually remember the jokes to say. It happened to me right now. I remembered, <laughs> like yesterday or the day before, I was just like, Oh, that's a, that's a funny thing that I should probably point out to people, but I don't remember what it was. Can't for the life of me think about what it was that I noticed. I really should like learn to write some of that stuff down. I mean, it happens. I, I do. The, it'll it'll come again probably, at some point. Think of the exact same idea. Write it down next time. Well, whatever. <laughs> well, whatever. I'm not that hung up about it. Even if I never think about it again, I'll come up with some other good ideas too. It's fine. Like it, for all I know, it could have been like the greatest thing in history, right? I don't think I don't think any of my jokes are that great. You know, I'm not some defining essence of comedy in the year 2023. But like I come up with so many ideas that are just sort of like all over the place. I know I know <laughs> I know I'll come up with something else pretty soon, so it doesn't matter if I lost an idea or two or three. They're dumb things, dude. Like, they're really dumb things. Sometimes I laugh at, like, something that doesn't even make sense. I don't know. If I if I remember what it was, I'll obviously tell you guys. <laughs> what the hell am I seeing? You're, you're gonna see it very, very soon. Very, very soon. I swear to you, we're almost done. I'm not gaslighting you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if I sat here for hours <laughs> connecting random things that had no meaning whatsoever and you guys are just sitting there being like, what is he making? What does he make for the entirety of the stream? And that's it. That's It's just a gaslighting stream. Oh my god, this is such an amazing creation. I can't wait to see when it's done. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny, actually. <laughs>
Especially if I did a guess what I'm building. Winner gets some prize. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, shorts on YouTube. Exactly. Oh my god, exactly. It's not, it's not... Anyway, sequence. There we go. The reset button repaired everything. Now we just need to put in the initial values for the sequence, and we're good to go. Next video title, I gaslight my stream chat. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I'll just do that right now. Give me a second here. Gaslighting my stream. Meh. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry for gaslighting my stream. I'm sorry. I'm such a bad person. My gosh. <laughs> all right. So we need uh, uh, just a value of 10, 0, and. 30. I'm pretty sure that's it right here. 10, 0, and 30. Like that. We'll paint it for, my, for the sake of my sanity. That's the 30. Doesn't matter what colors they are. That's the 0. That's the 10. Oh. Huh? Oh, because gravity. Doi. <laughs> doi, doi, doi. doi. No, get back here. I just wanted the bottom. All right, I'll try to balance out my loop and like put it over here somewhere. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh... Okay, so that means this is no longer needed. This is no longer needed. And that should clear up some connection lines. Now let's uh, do the sequence. Zero. We're starting with the zero bearings. That's all the ones that are in green right here. Eh? Why am I trying to connect it to a bearing? I'm a dingus. It's in the multiplier blocks. Into the multipliers right here. Multiply. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. So that's the flat side of the circle. Let's hook up those 30s. There's one. There's two, and the rest are 10.
just a few more. The thing is, I, I kind of do feel like I'm gaslighting my stream, because like I technically haven't even done the initial test. I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> this is all still just an experimental idea. But that's what I love about Scrap Mechanic, you can just build literally anything. I mean, assuming you have the parts for it. That's that's a small caveat. Small little asterisk. Footnotes, you know? Just uh, two more. Two more. You guys ever see that, uh, um... You know, actually, never mind. Maybe I'm not even gonna say it at all. Maybe I'm not. Gonna, maybe I'll save it for another future video idea. Oh, you know what? Actually, there was some. I, I did remember something else. It wasn't one of those like funny things, but like somebody else was um, unknown. Or if you're in the chat, if you're watching the stream, unknown. I, I think it was you that was being all like, uh, you need to do a uh, bring back like the mod review series or like talk about check out uh, more mods by different people. And that's why I'm you know checking playing playing with some of these mods, right? finally checking out some more mods but like the suggestion was to do a um to bring back the mod review series and uh, there was a discussion in my discord that's like a little bit different like how to go about reviewing people's mods sometimes it's for the player uh, so like if the video is for the player we're talking about how the mod is fun the things that you can use it for the things that uh, like you as a player are going to be doing the mod like why you are interested in the mod if the video is made for mod makers, then it's like a critique. Like, how good of a job did you do at executing the thing that mod makers do, right? I could comment on, for example, like this, uh, the, the 3D model. Excellent job, right? It's not some, but, but, but like, that's not really a, a video for, for, for viewers. But anyway, I just remembered, um, unknown if you're, if you're, this looks cool. In this visual thing. Some, some, some of it's like not rendering. But it looks cool. Anyway, one of the ideas that I had, um, it was actually years ago. Uh, it was an idea to more or less, um, start that with, uh, other YouTubers. Or, like, other mod makers. Uh, ba basically just any show format that judges what people do. So if you want to think of it like Shark Tank for mod makers and scrap mechanic, you could definitely have a, a, a mod maker pitching their mod and uh, some mod makers being like, and for that reason, I'm out. You know, <laughs> it's, it's just a dumb, it's a show idea, right? It's not, that's, it's not a critique for mod makers. It's not really a, a review for players, but it's a, sort of the same thing, but like a show idea. And it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be Shark Tank based. But basically any format where there are judges. And it doesn't have to be mods either. Uh, this was actually an idea that I pitched for the Multiplayer Monday guys, but they, they didn't want to do it. Was just to base, was just to have... It, instead of... Okay, wait. Not like Shark Tank, but more like um, America's Got Talent or something like that. Where people can present their blueprints. It doesn't have to be mods. And it, it could be the same... It's the same judge format. Everybody's got a button. They gotta push a button or something to invest in whatever blueprint they like. It's a show. It's an it's an idea for a show. You know, to be entertaining. Okay, so I think um, I think everything's good to go. The how to start. Let's go ahead and save this. You know what? I'll just go ahead and I'll just go ahead and share my idea with you guys. I'm probably not going to do another video idea about this and it's probably not even a video idea anyway. And I probably mentioned it before anyway. Right? I probably mentioned this before at some point in time. But I I'm confident you guys know already know this idea. I'm confident you guys already know this idea.
eh, basically just get yourself a border. Some, some, this is also something that you've probably never seen in Scrap Mechanic on the Steam Workshop. So if you guys want to be the first one to upload this idea to the Steam Workshop, you can launch Scrap Mechanic right now and get started. But I'm sure you've seen those videos, TikToks, time-lapse videos of line art. So you can just connect whatever you want and, and where they overlap you can reinforce lines, right? And so then that will eventually make a picture depending on how you connect all of your different line art things. I'm not really making any picture right now. I also did this in Plasma. Using all the programming nodes, you can just uh, make fancy patterns with lines. But like some people make portrait, like facial portraits and things like that. I have not seen a single one of these line art things on the Steam Workshop. Maybe I just haven't been looking. I'm gonna go look right now. Line art. This is art. When the blue line goes to the end, you will see the real art. I have no idea what this is. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, different kinds of art on the Steam Workshop, but, like, not a single one using the connection lines uh, for, for art. Well, anyway, let's see if this person got it. This is art. Oh, okay, it's just a timer to show the painting. All right. <laughs> All right, sorry to burst your bubble there, whoever made that. Let's, uh, oh yeah, turn back gravity back on, huh? Okay, there you go. And uh, let's start the let's start the circle. Everything's reset. Here we go. Okay, well you can see how it's like supposed to work. Maybe when it comes back around, it'll it'll start working all of a sudden. Eh, eh, eh. Come on, come on, come on. Just fall down, just fall down, just fall down. Just, just, not, not that way, not that way. No, 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 no. Alright. <clears throat> just wait, offset was off? It's too, yeah, yeah, it's too fast. So we're gonna flip it a dip. And, uh, the thing, uh, Reset. Where the heck did I put? Did I even put in the delay? Of course I did. Where is it coming from, though? I don't know where it is. That's 20 ticks. Where is 20 coming from? Ah. That's the delay. I remember. I remember now. We just increased that. <laughs> I remember now. Alright, so instead of 20 ticks, let's go ahead and make it a, a 30 tick. And we're gonna get it going the other way now. Reset. It pops up because, uh, just because of the way that it was built, but... Something's off. No, no, it's just the controller's not being strong enough. All right, all right. We're, we're, we're getting there. Looks like a terrain slime. All right, let's get the... So it's a giant wheel. I mean, if you want to call it that, I don't know. Give the bearings less speed as well. Yeah, I can adjust the smart engines to not do that. I did make them kind of fast, didn't I? That does not look normal. Is my creation writhing in pain yet again? Father, what are you doing to me? Blah! 
Oh. Come on, punch me in the face. Pull. 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 All right. Good good collision game. Good collision. <laughs> All right, so now that I should have uh there you go, straight line to drive. The speed values. Okay, so the, the delay, the the initial pop-up is kind of annoying, but let's I, we, we can fix that super easy, I think, just by adjusting this counter and this counter. I don't know what I set them to, so I'm just going to reset them. Reset, and uh, this is a speed in degrees per second, so how fast are you going to go from 0 to 30 degrees, or from 10 to, to 0? 10 degrees an entire second? No, I, it can't be. It has to be faster than that. We'll go 40. No, it has to be more than that. The delay of the animation is 30 ticks. So 30 out of 40 ticks in a second. No, yeah, yeah, 40 should work. Let's just uh, pop it off and give it a try. So it didn't pop up off the ground, and it seems like exact like it's not jittering from one pose to the other. It seems like exactly when one pose stops, the next one starts. Yeah, all of this that uh, that we're like uh, that I gotta get you know put in exactly the value of forty to make that happen, to make this wheel drive at this speed. This is all what I would call very analog, analog control. I, I can't control the speed, I can't stop it. I mean, I can by picking it up on my lift, but like, I can't tell it to go half the speed, I can't tell it to go half, twice the speed, I can't tell it to go in reverse. So that's that's the uh, that's the advanced design, is instead of doing it that way, use some mathematical functions. So then the speed at which the bearing changes is programmed to be smooth. You don't have to worry about it. It's strange to try to describe it that way. Right? But like that's why a sine wave looks so wavy and smooth is because you can change number values. You can ease into it and ease out of it. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, like th this is this is what I was trying to build. <laughs> this is one of the things I was trying to build today anyway. And I did it. Now more fast. You want me to do it faster? We can see how fast we can push this thing. Can have the central hanging mass, the driver seat and logic. Central hanging mass. I don't know how to do that. You can't exactly add spokes to this wheel. I mean, you can. Do you want to do that right now? Here, I'll try to I'll try to add some spokes to this wheel. <laughs> it's one of the dumbest things. But like to have a center point, you're gonna see it's it's not. So you were right with your guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were the as far as I know, um, Lord Detool, you were the one that uh, got it first. Let's uh calm down those timers. They're they're currently crying. Yeah, stop stop doing stuff. All right, spokes on the wheel. <laughs> this is one of the dumbest things. One of the dumbest additions to this. I don't know which side's heavier. I guess, um, I guess let's just do it. Yeah, I don't exactly know where the center point is. <clears throat> um, well, I guess uh, the center point, these are... Yeah, I guess that would be it. So then that's where I gotta attach the other spokes.
There we go. So that's useful to, uh, to yeah, to find the center that way. But now I got, now I gotta redo it the other way. I mean, I think it's right here. Looks to be about the center. Yeah, I'm just gonna attach it here. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfectly fine being the way it is. Okay, so this is not going to work, because it's uh, a stiff thingy. Um, but I'm going to show you. We can just put... Uh, bearing. 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 Do a little six blocks. Six blocks, yes. Six blocks. Six blocks. And we delete. Right here. More bearings? I'm still on advanced physics, I just realized. <clears throat> that, uh, too many bearings might be a problem at some point. Um, right here. Delete that. Why don't I think this is going to work? Why does that not look symmetrical? Ugh, I'm a dingus. I'm, I'm such a, a, a huge dingus. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just going to quickly weld that and then I'll repair my mistakes here real quick. This is literally just to build the thing that Lord Ditool said. <laughs> where where there's a seat in the middle of this. Right now I'm just building some extra sag. Dingle Tood? has increased by with an, an additional 20%. Yeah, levels of dingitude. Wait, is it dinga? Dingitude? Or dinga? Dingel? I don't know, man. All right, so that should all be attached. A seat right in the middle. I don't want it to be to, to, to be too heavy, so let's just go with the seat of pain. Okay, number one is reset, number two is start the system. Here we go! Loop two. Geez, got a little bit uh, dangerous with some of the angles there in the center. Is it? Oh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, there you go, anti-gravity. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, it's stretching a little bit. No, 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 don't stretch too much. But yeah, it's because it's a it's a compressing wheel, it needs to sag. It can't be stiff spokes. Because some distances are, are shorter than others. <laughs> but it actually... It actually works. Sometimes I build something in Scrap Mechanic and, uh... Oh, your two sides aren't on bearings? Wait, what? What does that mean? Weird mono wheel gyro bike, I approve. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, sometimes I just, uh, I, I, I don't even know where exactly this uh, idea came from. It was literally just yesterday I wrote it. This, funny enough, this is the thing that I wrote down on a piece of paper, was this idea. But not any of the funny things that I thought. It was the dumb thing. I need more paper. <laughs> that's, that's what I need. Two of the ends aren't on bearings? Of course they are. Okay, well I can't I can't I can't exactly stop it. So if I'm stopped like this, tell me is it like top, bottom, left, right? Add more sag on the vertical lines. Too much jiggle not Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got the proportions wrong for for the spokes. One, yeah, so... Left, right. You mean these sides? But they're attached. You're talking about the spokes, right? But it's shorter because no bearing. Oh, oh, you think? Okay, you, you're thinking these corners are like supposed to stretch out. That's not. That's not it. Um, those. It's kind of weird to explain. So if I do this. Okay, well, we're not, we're not rolling, but... The reason why... Okay, so the reason why that wood is there is to, to put the spoke in the middle. I built off the counter blocks, but I should have built off of right here instead. And I just, instead of doing that, I just built off to the side. It's to line up, it's to line up the spoke to, to be here and here. See how they're, like, misaligned by that number of blocks? Yeah, because because the the counter blocks are misaligned by like six blocks from each other. They're they're not in the center, um, so that's the center point. I just built some wood and then built off of it. That's the sides that are freaking out. Yeah, that's also because of this rectangular design here. There's a lot of things that I didn't do that are super smart, but yeah, I, I need to lengthen that a little bit. You know what? Maybe I will just put a bearing there. It does it does look like that's all that you need to do. Uh that's not the one. It's it's down here. Yeah. Yeah, but then these counter blocks are in the way, huh? And these counter blocks are in the way. Whatever, I'll just do it. Where's, uh... Ah, the anti-gravity thing's all the way over there.
What am I doing? What did I... What, what did I do on the bottom one? Yeah, I did build off the engine. that even the same down there anymore? I don't know. No, don't screw perfect symmetry. Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> this, this was not perfectly symmetrical to begin with. Where's my seat? Yeah, there's ten there's tension on the wood. It it can't rotate because of the darn corner of the wood. And I'm not pulling out a pipe piece just to do that. <laughs> I'm not pulling out a pipe piece just for that. In comes wedges to save the day. Yeah, I, I, this is just a prototype of a prototype. Fine. Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh, oh, it's the timers. <laughs> the system wasn't reset. Lull peer pressure. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, there you go. It looks much nicer, right? Because, like, now, after, after the rectangle turns in, like, transforms into a circle, then those counter blocks are all of a sudden opposite of each other. But, like, when you build off the lift, they're not. But look at that. The spokes have plenty of sag. Yeah, nothing's freaking out. Alright, didn't we say we wanted to do this faster? Let's see how fast we can push this thing. So, you know, so we can actually, like, advertise this as a, as a method of transportation. Okay, no, no, I want to flip it. Yeah, 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 that way. So it drives that way. Reset. Okay. To make faster, to make faster, one must. This tick button does what? <laughs> it's so hard to see. That's the speed of the engines. Right, I keep on forgetting, that's the delay of the animation. Okay, so the delay of the animation, we can make... 20 ticks instead of 30 ticks. And the speed... Uh, increased to 50, 60, something like that. Make sure that's reset. Gosh darn it. <laughs> like, that was me just <laughs> running into it. <laughs> how, how is scrap mechanic physics like this? Alright. Systems reset. Very close to popping up, but we didn't, uh, we didn't fly off. But hey, we are, we're rolling a little bit faster. We're rolling slightly faster. Honestly, I'm pretty proud of this. I'm 
It's <laughs> one of the dumbest things. Funny flat tire machine? Yeah. So, par uh, like I said, this is all like a prototype of a prototype. Um, and the the ideal solution would just to be use like a math function so that you can tell this machine, okay, you know, slow down, stop, pause, reverse, play at 200% speed, you know, stuff like that. Um, but as well as the animation speed and like direction and things like that, you would also be able to control the amount that your tire is inflated, quote unquote. So that's just how much of the bearings that you're dedicating to the flat sequence of the of the animation and then of course the corners the corner bearings have to account for all of those missing degrees right so a simple explanation there's 36 bearings in this circle 36 bearings are angled 10 degrees to make 360 degrees of the circle so that's why when you take it off the lift well when you saw earlier it was a, a perfect circle uh, the 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 programming is taking six out of 36 to make zero that's the flat side that you see so you can't just take 60 degrees out of a 360 degrees you're left with only 300 right how do you get the how, how do you get the remaining 60 back in there you pump these things here these these Oh, these bearings should be 40, right? Not 30? To add up to 360? I'm a dinkus, aren't I? I mean, it works anyway. <laughs> That's probably... It works anyway, probably just because of how much these engines are fighting against each other. Like, you, you probably don't even need to program these, uh, these yellow bearings to be anything special. Because, like, just the tension from this entire section being straight and this entire section being curved will make these, uh, will make these other bearings just, you know, do the corner anyway. But anyway, 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 the, 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 po the point is, the point is, six bearings being the flat side of the circle, the flat side of the, 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 the tire, the wheel, um, that means 60 degrees has to go back into the corners. So the rest of the circle is going to stay smooth, 10 degree per, per bearing. The corners are going to be the sharpest corner. And the flat section is just all zero. Yeah. So anyway, you can change the number of flat segments. If you wanted it to only be one flat segment, then you probably wouldn't see much of a difference. And the corners would calculate to be 10 degrees as well. So every, every, you know... 10... <laughs> If every bearing is 10 degrees, then it's like saying one segment is flat on the circle. If two segments are flat on the circle, then you're changing that one bearing that was 10 degrees into zero degrees, and you need to put five on the extra corners. Or you can, we, we can like really flatten this out. Like make this a super, super, super flat wheel. But then it's gonna look more like a slug than a wheel, right? Like a worm. And that we definitely wouldn't be able to have spokes on it then. <laughs> but it is possible to like really flatten it out, like flat like a pancake. That also just happens to want to roll around. But that's, that would be like uh, putting in, you know, there's 36 segments. So you can't really put more than like 16 without ruining the idea. So 16 segments that are just flat along the ground. Then like a super quick turnaround. Why does the one bearing at the top go to zero for a second? Which one? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to point my screen like this. And, uh, cause if I'm moving around all the time, changing angles, it's not gonna make sense. So you guys tell me, top, bottom, left, right, top, left, bottom, right, what, what bearing are you talking about? Or, cause there's so many bearings, I don't know what you're talking about. Why does that one bearing at the top go to zero for a sec? Which bearing? At the top? Top of what?
Wait, make a steam train? Start turning. Look at the top. You mean start turning the wheel. Okay, I'll start turning the wheel. I'm looking at the top of the wheel. The animation's upside down. Just give it a sec. Oh, I see it. I see it. Ow, my ears. I just popped out my earbud. Because I still use wired earbuds like a boomer. Okay, no, I see what you mean. The reason why that's happening... Let's reset the system here. The reason why that happens was because I used the improper timing for the timers. <laughs> so, <laughs> it sounds, sounds dumb when you say it like that. This... All of the timers are getting the timing information from this. That is also the thing. Yeah, that's uh, that's going into this tick button right here. That's the thing that's supposed to set the sequence of numbers, but. Did I not connect one of them? behind me get out of here <laughs> god I made a mess whatever <laughs> whatever yeah it's like really just the one at the top why is it the one at the top to be 10 degrees. Did I... Okay, where's the anti-gravity? <laughs> Jeez. Ah. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, I was thinking one of the multipliers might not have the 10 connected to it, but, like, they do. That's this, that's this guy right here. They do. And it's one of these right at the top, too. They're all connected. No, I think it's, uh, ha 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 the multiplier is not connected? It is. That also happens if I didn't put the correct, uh, delay on the smart timers. And, like, I definitely confuse myself all the time doing that. So if I made the delay... ...longer... ...between timers... No, that's the... Shouldn't matter. Shouldn't, shouldn't matter. Put that back to 20. Instead of the... Hmm. So I'm going to do that, 
And I'm also just gonna put... Yeah, I can stack whatever I want in here. It's not gonna interfere. Three extra ticks. Why? I don't know. Don't know. Oh yeah, anti-gravity. No, 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 see, yeah, now I'm just messing things up. It's definitely one of them that just, like, starts weird. What? Why? Why? Ah! <laughs> uh... Like, did I use the wrong one? Did I connect the wrong one? <laughs> yeah, no, the zero is connected to the places that it should be. The 30s are connected to where they should... Maybe, is this is this a result of me not doing the, the math correctly and this is actually supposed to be 40 instead of 30? I mean, I can try, but I'm uh, just taking shots in the dark at this point. I have no idea why that one bearing wants to be that way. Also take that off just in case. Corners interfere. Okay. Yeah, this is also, like, what we're seeing right now is uh, the, the problem with building it analog, and that's why I prefer to, like, program stuff with functions a lot of the time. Because, uh, like, now we have to fiddle with some obscure problem that we don't really have any control over, or it's, like, a, a precarious system. It's still there. The funky bearing at the top, it's still there. It's not quite opposite of the of the flat side, but it's like up here-ish somewhere, right? Like you guys can sort of see it. Why is that? Almost like as if there's an invisible hand just sort of like pushing this thing along. And like, I know why that happens. That's, <laughs> but, because you know, that's part of the sequence that I, I, I put in. So the only time that that, ha that that you get like a problem at the end of your sequence, repeating like that or whatever, is, is just because you didn't write it in, right? But like I am doing that. What? Also, it doesn't seem to... <laughs> see, notice how it didn't make a difference that I just changed the angles like that from 30 to 40. I, I think that was... Uh, yeah, I think, I, I think we're right now, right? 36 bearings. 10 degrees, you take away six of them, you took away 60 degrees. But if you take, if you split that into two groups of 30, and then you add that onto the two, two more bearings, they already have 10 degrees on them, so they should add up to 40. I'm, you know, I think, I think we're depleted the brain power for today. Maybe, uh, maybe some other day I'll <laughs> figure out how to program some actual math into this. Yeah, then we wouldn't have to deal with that weird bearing at the top. You miss Chet pressuring him into doing dumb things? Well, yeah, I mean, that happens. Oh, hey, Spyro. You were stuck in a birthday party, what did you miss? You missed me building this, and you also missed a bunch of cat pictures. People on the stream today got to got to meet my furry faces. Not my furry face. I mean, people asked for a face reveal, but that's not happening. But I showed pictures of my cats. Well, anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and save this. 
we've been streaming for just about three hours. I think, um, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna start the second thing that I wanted to build today. Maybe I'll stream tomorrow. I don't know. The loop. Prototype. I'll just put this on the workshop for you guys if you wanna use the mod pack. And mod pack beta? I don't know if it does actually. Wait, you can't search in the mod parts tab? All right, Seed of Pain is in the regular mod pack. Okay, we'll go ahead and put this up in the workshop for you guys to fiddle around with. Maybe you guys can do a better job than I did. Maybe you can figure out the number logic mathematics. This item is awaiting analysis by our automated content check system, blah, blah, blah. Why is using the workshop getting worse and worse? All right, it's just called the loop prototype on the workshop. Where's that flat tire car? Oh, you were talking about the uh, um, uh, soft body. Soft body wheel. The car, this is just the car with the uh, axles made out of ice blocks for low friction. So you have to build these axles, the drive shaft, on these soft body wheels. Car, 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 car. You want to see the car? I mean, fine. I suppose it's, it, it wasn't a good, uh, it wasn't a successful experiment, by the way. This, this soft body wheel, a better design needs to be done than this one. But also, before, before we do that, let's go ahead and take this off. Reset the system real quick because we were playing on advanced physics the entire time. So let's change it to maybe simple five can operate this wheel. Doesn't really look like it, huh? Where are the buttons? Where are the buttons? Ah, oh, here they are. I don't think, uh, I don't think Physics 5 can handle it. Six? <laughs> I mean, it's a sagging wheel. It's a flat tire just because of the simple physics. But once the animation gets back around, it should work. There you go. Yeah, what is that bearing? Oh wait, that's, that's a controller bearing. Yeah, this is weird. This is weird. Also, may I suggest smart flats tire for this build? What do you mean? You're it. Mr. Tool is talking about a car with the wheels you made today. Oh! No, 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 no. I think we're gonna have to save that for another stream. I don't know. I don't know if I have the brain capacity to spend another couple hours on this. I mean, it, it, sound, it sounds like a pretty fun idea. But I also haven't eaten anything today either. I, I really don't think that I have the brain power for that. No, no, no. I'll try to stream. Uh, I'll try to stream tomorrow. I'll try to stream some more tomorrow. Maybe we can. Uh... So, like for the smart version of this, it's it's talking about like the mathematical formulas, right? You got to use a math. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about when I say mathematical formula. All I'm lo so if you look at the perspective from a single bearing, uh, just one bearing, you want it to be 10 degrees, 10 degrees, 10 degrees, 10 degrees, 10 degrees, like on repeat. 
until all of a sudden you want it to gradually go to 40 degrees and then at the same speed gradually go down to zero. So it's just going to go 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 40, 0, and then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 40, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. That's, that's just sort of like a, a numerical graph, <laughs> right? So I need to program a formula for my bearings to follow that pattern, which isn't a difficult thing to do. It's just a little bit, uh, uh, <laughs> I just need to spend the time to actually do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, doing it that way, then I need to uh, do bearing... Like, then I just give these bearings ID numbers. So, like, bearing number one, bearing number two, bearing number three, bearing number four. And that's all just, like, the position on the graph. So when you tell bearing number one, okay, play the sequence, play the sequence of numbers, and it just goes down the uh, along the graph before it repeats. Uh, bearing number two is already one bearing position ahead on the graph. Bearing number three is two positions ahead on the graph. Bearing number four is four positions ahead on the graph, So or, or whatever. So, like, that just makes it super, super easy programmatically, where the bearings themselves don't even have to know what they're doing. Um, but, like, collectively, it ends up doing what it needs to. I love, I love uh, solutions to, like, problems like that. You know what? I'm going to do some more line art super quick. I said it was going to be the end of the stream, but something that a lot of people, I think actually <laughs> probably one of the biggest reasons why people get mad at me for saying something, <laughs> it's probably what I'm about to explain right now. Problem solving, or like the reason why I'll just like go to people and say like, no, you did that thing wrong, or like this thing needs to be done this way. I think people usually interpret that as like a matter of an opinion or like arrogance. And I understand, trust me, I understand, but like... I'm not the type of person that would try to BS you like that. Or I'm the type of person that encourages you to call me out on my BS. If you hear any BS from me, call me out because chances are I'll be able to just literally explain it to you and you'll just go, ah, yes, okay, I see what you mean. Like, it's not, it's not, an, you don't have, blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> whatever, let's not go on to some obscure rant that doesn't make sense. Problem solving. Most people think problem solving, like, you know, point A to point B, point B to point C, point C to point D. If this, then that, then the other thing makes sense. That's a very linear way of thinking. And that's not a bad thing. This is, this, this is a lot of the problem solving skills that schools teach you how to do. If you see one thing, it means something else, right? That's a very linear way of thinking. The, some of the best problems that are solved in the world are not done in this way. Some of the best programs written in the world are not done that way. Uh, instead, what they are is more like this. And you can call this an individual idea where like, like you, you, you're solving a problem and it's just all of this is one idea. The same thing goes for this, except it's a different way to look at it because instead of like instead of linear it's more like this idea relates to this idea and this idea and this idea this idea relates to this idea and this idea and this idea and there's a relationship between those ideas and no duh this is essentially like this, again should probably also seem very obvious to you uh, but like there are situations like this in in the world or whatever you're doing where so many things relate to each other, but there isn't really a linear way to look at it. So it's only until you have the understanding of each and every individual component and how those, how it relates to other things that you can see the bigger picture and the, the, the whole idea. And this is a, a way to, like a, a completely different way of thinking about a singular idea, right? But like this is more often than not the thing that I'm talking about when people don't understand what what, what I'm talking about. What am I trying to say right now? <laughs> it's more often than not, when it sounds like I'm saying something and people aren't getting it, it's because they're expecting some explanation to be very linear. It's because they're expecting something to be simplistic, right? So programming a beautiful solution 
creating a, a, like a, a, a program that is beautiful code is usually not about the individual components themselves. Just like I'm talking about how the individual bearings in this loop, they don't have to know what the heck it's doing. The individual bearings are just a part of a larger whole, and it doesn't it doesn't actually do anything for towards the idea of a, of a large flat tire, right? They're just bearings doing smart things with numbers. So like individually, they don't mean anything, but as a, as a bigger picture, it's uh, the, these are the types of things that uh, is a little bit more difficult to see, right? These are the things that, like, if if somebody gave you enough time and you sat down in a room with them and you had, like, a long conversation with them and you actually cared about what they were saying, they you might leave that conversation being like, ah, yes, I understand now. I see what you mean, right? Because things like this, you don't need an explanation and you can do it yourself. They are obvious. You can extrapolate on your own. But when you don't understand, for example, when you don't understand this... No, no, that's not... <laughs> I don't understand what I'm doing. But let's say this is something that you didn't understand. It... It only... It only, um... It only has three relations with three other points in this, you know, bigger picture. But, all of a sudden, it means you don't... You all of a sudden understand less of this. You all of a sudden understand less of this point. You all of a sudden understand less of this. So the bigger picture ends up being significantly less just because, you know, you're missing one piece of the puzzle type of thing, right? And so, like, this would be... <laughs> it's, uh, I, it, the thing that I'm trying to explain to you guys is so abstract. Abstract thought. I don't understand if you guys even hear what I'm saying right now. I tried. I don't know. <laughs> anyway... C car could have been done during this explainer 45 times, la 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 la. You know what, Lord Dead Tool? I literally put, I literally put my wheel, my loop, the loop prototype. This is on the workshop. Go do it. I expect a car from you tomorrow. When I live stream tomorrow, Lord Dead Tool, I want to see your car made from these wheels on the workshop. Right now. Because it's the end of the stream today, folks. We're, we're, you know, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the likes and uh, subscribes. No, 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 Lord Ted Tool. I'm not even... Okay, I'm not telling you what car you want to make. I'm just old and demand things. Well, I mean, I know. that's. I'm kind of shoving that right back in your face. I'm, say <laughs> I'm, say I'm, I'm saying I demand from you. Tomorrow, by the way, I'll try to stream around the same time. Around the same time as today. My sleep schedule is, you know, a hit or miss. So, doesn't matter if I'm really a... a if I'm one hour late starting the stream tomorrow, I think it's still okay, because, like, it's still within the time window of when I was streaming today. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. He didn't have the game, he said. Lord Dead Tool has the game. Don't even, don't even listen to that gaslighting. Jeez. Gaslighting, gaslighting, gaslighting. Lord Dead Tool definitely has the game. To be, to be fair, I have the game because my kids do. I just don't play. All right. <laughs> it's all right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. And that's why you're watching my stream is because you desperately want to play Scrap Mechanic that bad, but, like, it's a kid game and you can't. So you got to watch some other adult play the game. <laughs> that's, that's, that's so backwards. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, no, yeah, no, I understand. I, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I, I understand, uh, like, people like to watch people build things. There's all there's all kinds of reasons why you're going to watch the stream. I'm just, I'm just kidding around. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm out of here. Actually, you know what? I'm not out of here. Because I want to show off my loading times. No, no, no. I'm not out of here because I literally just want to play around with this more. Pew. Pew. Teleport. Pew. Pew. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. 
pew 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 too bad you can't teleport to the ceiling huh or the or the world borders cuz like it would be a super quick way to just get to one side of the map that's like the one thing that i could say functionally this uh, this mod if you could add that i think that would just make it uh 10 out of 10 you know it's one of the like i don't i i feel bad calling it 9 out of 10 because like for a mod this does exactly what is advertised and they're using the lift remote model which i find fantastic by a cool mod <laughs> thanks thanks you for the for the donation there you go now i can pretend i'm running super fast <laughs> uh Oh, that's so cool. I'm the Flash. <laughs> okay, so can I get the angle just right to, like, teleport in one go? Not really. Jeez, how, how, do, you, how do you teleport so far? Terrain surface. No, 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 no. Terrain. There you go. Terrain surface. It still takes like two and a half clicks to get to the other side of the map. I just don't have the angle to point straight to the end. Anyway, anyway, anyway. The flash at one FPS, but also 60. <laughs> I know, right? That must, that must look so weird. <laughs> I can do that without a mod? What, you mean, uh... Uh, what do you call it? Inge memory injection, or...? I completely forget the, the what it's called. But you just modify what the game is doing in the memory. You know, the old-fashioned way to cheat. Build a wall on one end and teleport to it. Yeah, that's that's probably the way to do it. That's the thing that I'm saying though. Like if this uh, if this mod just allowed you to teleport to these world borders, I'm sure that it can't do that. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm not sure that it can't. I'm not sure if it can or can't. I don't know why it's not able to do that. But I would assume it's because there's some limitation with mod support. It doesn't make sense though because you still have the uh, raycast 41 blocks. Thanks for putting up with my nonsense. Kissing face. Front facing baby chick. <laughs> Thank you so much for the uh, $20 super Front chat. Front facing baby chick. 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 Yeah, so like it, it says the distance to blocks, right? So why not just teleport the player that many blocks that distance? Front facing baby chick. Why does it stop for the for the world border? You know what I mean? I understand like that might be annoying to some people. Like let's say I wanted to teleport to the tree over here, but maybe my aim's not that great and I missed. I don't want to teleport past the tree. I want to teleport to the tree. You know what I mean? That might be an application where somebody doesn't want to teleport to the world border. But, uh, I don't know. I think in my mind, it it, it makes sense just to have it, to, to allow people to teleport wherever they click. Just because it's a, a one sweeping rule that applies to everything. You teleport where you click, that's it. Why was there a special condition? I don't know. Like, I assume it's because of mod support, but I, I don't know. Anyway, I think this is a very... I'm not... Like, I'm still thinking... Besides clicking around like this, how am I going to use this? And I don't... Eh. Like, this isn't a survival mode mod. And I'm barely going to use this in creative. This, I think, is something that uh, might... Like, there's... Uh... Some video games, some first-person shooters have, like, teleporting grenades or something, right? 
you can teleport yourself to, to where you go. Or it's very similar to Portal. So, like, I think for for maybe custom game modes... Oh, that's another thing, too, that I... Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't share so many ideas on my stream. Maybe I gotta keep some mystery for tomorrow's stream. <laughs> but I come up with so many ideas. Okay, I'm... Uh, how, what, what am I doing here? Teleport down. I can't teleport down. Teleport that way. Teleport that way. Teleport... Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Some custom game modes could, uh... Could, could use this functionality as, like, part of their gameplay mechanics. Like, if, uh... Isn't Fortnite something like that? But, like, if you see somebody that's over there and you just go, Teleport! Switch to your spud gun! Shoot, shoot, shoot! Bam, 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 bam! You could do some PvP stuff, like, that requires teleport. Or the, you know, the person getting shot at, like, Ah, run away! You know, with a teleport? That would be pretty cool. But then, for something like that, I would say you'd probably need to add... A special effect like a trail you know that goes from previous position to new position to sh sort of show everyone else on the map somebody just teleported from there so you would see a huge streak of some kind of color or something from from here to there you know just for a little bit anyway this <laughs> see like now I'm getting into like the mod review like critique stuff should that be a video series probably not Probably should just not talk about mods like that. Alright, how about let's actually end the stream, huh? I was also gonna get into, like, custom game modes. Make some custom game modes at some point, but, uh... And, like, I have some really crazy ideas for that, too. But I just don't know if I'm gonna get into it. I don't know, maybe. Well, anyway... <laughs> Have a good night, folks. Thanks for hanging out. This was uh, this was uh, pr 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 pretty nice. Pretty nice. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed those pictures of cats. They are exclusive, top secret information. More cat pics at fifty thousand subs, or whenever you guys bug me on stream, I guess. Have a good night, folks. Yeah, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>